Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines! Where last time we kind of turned our city into poop Venice by building a poop volcano and then forcing everybody to live next to sewage because our city is all about making people suffer as much as possible. And so far so good! People have to pay insane fees to move or do anything, the city's crime rate is at 14% and driving's a literal nightmare. But today we're gonna make it even worse by recreating LA in one of our little city blocks here. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. Now the law of the land, at least with LA, is if there is a problem, it can be solved by building a highway. So there are going to be highways everywhere. Need to go to the store? Highway. Need to take your little son Billy to school? Highway. Want to go to your neighbor's house? Well, odds are you're probably going to have to use the highway. Starting to get the point here? So, the whole city is going to be surrounded by a major highway loop, but then the rest of the road work for the whole city is just a grid. Like, I was actually Googling pictures of LA to, like, figure out how to build it, and this is it. Just highways and grids all over the place. And single-family homes. Like, why? For such a popular and populated place, you'd think there'd be like skyscrapers everywhere. Speaking of problems, why is my grid not perfect? Ah, uh, much better. One credit to LA, the highway systems, they're actually pretty good. It's just there's so many of them and there's no other options for citizens. Of course though, we're gonna make things a little bit worse by making terrible highways, but we'll get to that. First up, now with the main loop done, and options made for people coming and going from this part of the city, we need to start making attractions. So, of course, if we're building an American city, we gotta have American football. So the center of the city is going to be a giant American football stadium. Like, a super massive one. It comes with the University DLC, and check out this tronky boy. It's huge! Absolutely massive. And of course, people come from far and wide to see the excellent football games here, right? And they're gonna have to come and go via highways. So people can come in this way, and then if they wanna leave, we'll scoot across here, and then they will go up to this highway. But also, if they just want to continue down this way, we'll give them an option to do so. And if someone's coming from this side of the city and wants to go to the game, well, we'll have another option for them too. There you go. So that's a good start then. And kind of the logic being is we will pretend that no one will ever use just the rural streets because it's going to be so slow. And we'll pretend that the only way to get anywhere in the city is with highways. Which, at the end of the day, might actually be the case. You know what? This is a little ridiculous, even for me. But... Considering the city's big meme, we're even going to have a highway that will go around the block. So we have the one-way street here to handle a bit of traffic. And then when people get over to here, and say for whatever reason they want to go back to this area, we'll just have another highway. We'll go to there, and then up the street. And that's actually kind of functionally good! So time to make it worse! Let's throw in dumpsters just everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Can't have people have fun. Not without paying the toll of their health and safety. Also, coal plants for good measure. And you know what? If we're gonna have a scummy environment, we gotta bring in scummy people. <laughs> so let's build a casino next door. Lastly though, we need one more thing. If we're building LA with all these highways, we need to build the transport tower here just fits thematically. Oh, and that reminded me! Of course, in a car-centric city, you don't provide people with enough parking. So we have, like, a parking lot here and a parking lot there, and it can hold a lot of people, but of course not everyone. So even when people do drive here, they're just gonna have to go around the blocks for hours trying to find parking. So that's all pretty much done. I did a little bit of road tinkering to make things a little bit more efficient and whatnot. So next little area of LA, gotta be a shopping district. And we're actually gonna build like a super fancy shopping district too. Cause the only way you can truly suffer is by comparing yourself to others. 
So by having this super luxury area right in the center of the city, people will be like, why couldn't I be this rich, famous person or whatever? And it will stop them from being happy with what they have. Which is still kind of objectively nothing, but hey, we may as well overdo the torment. Also, I feel like we should have some other kind of like wonder around here to attract fancy people. Uh, there is a grand mall, but then we have the posh mall and it kind of overshadows it. We need something else. Ooh, there's a high interest tower. We gotta build that somewhere around here. But I think we want something like the Theater of Wonders to attract the right clientele. And then lots and lots and lots of shopping. Remember to put it on credit. And that's kind of going to be it for this shopping area. The rest of it's just going to be parking lots and some shopping areas, of course. So let's move on to the business district with that high interest tower, which might just be the most evil building in the entire game, even though there is a building called the Oppression Office. This one's kind of worse because of just how massive it is. Like imagine living next to this thing. The reflection from all of the windows blinding the people sitting and watching the game, or the disgusting shadow this thing causes, forcing those behind it to live in perpetual darkness. So to be mean, of course, we're gonna zone some housing right behind there, but the rest of the area is just gonna be offices. And a little bit more fiddling later, and the roads are all good, got some parking, got some more taxis, cause why not? And this area is looking really cool too. So with everything kind of put together in like the basic themes of zones done, next is the best part. Putting together a residential area that is absolutely engorged with highways. There are going to be highways everywhere and they're mainly going to be centralized back here because this is where we want most of the population to live. But there will be like kind of practical applications to the highways. Like, maybe just for whatever reason, we're gonna have an extra highway that bypasses the normal highway and goes all the way over to here. Why do we need that, considering there's a highway right beside here? We don't, but we can get away with it. And in that same vein, actually, we have no way for people in this area to get to the main highway, so we should build a highway to get to the highway. Only makes sense. A highway system within the highway system. Uh, so we'll do that to raise people out of the grid. Then we'll have like turnout, then we'll go up a bit and we can connect to the rest of our highways. Plus we can kind of just go crazy from there. And then from that point we just add in a ton of over redundancies. No reason behind half of it, just can we put in highways? Yes. It's like a highway for people entering the city to enter the suburbs, a way for people to come back from wherever, enter the suburbs there. Then more options for people to get onto this highway so they can scoot over that way. Or there's this highway over here for people from the suburbs to just go right through this way, both onto the highway and then to the business district. And then there's a couple highway entrances into the posh district. And aesthetically, I think that looks sufficiently messed up. Okay, let's start adding in some more buildings then. So we're gonna need some services, like a prison as the crime rate is at 13%, and it could be contained a bit if we just have the city have harsh prison sentences. And of course, if we're gonna have a prison, just for no reason in particular, we should also build a couple crematoriums next door. Just saying. Schooling-wise, we do need to have some kids learning things to do stuff. So let's build a uh, high school somewhere. Build a high school by the coal power plants. Yeah. And I guess the kids are gonna need some exercise. So let's have them exercise and breathe heavily next to the coal power plants too. Oh, and we're gonna have to have another high school because there's gonna be a lot of population. So let's build that by the casino and sports arena. <laughs> and let's build a elementary school in the same area too. Or I guess we could put it back over this way. That's fine, I guess. And fire. Fire we legitimately do care about. Let's put a fire station there. Another one. Oh, I already placed one under there. That's a good move there, kids. Well done. And then one over this way. Somewhere. Maybe in the shade? Nah. Maybe by there. Sure. Why not? Good. And the zoning's been done too. So the majority of it is just gonna be low density housing. So all of this area, pretty much low density. 
Then over this way, a little bit more high density, a little bit of uh, industrial. The office space, like I was saying, the shopping space, like I was saying. And I think we are done. Ready to let it rip. Wait, did I connect up the highway? Yes. So the highway connects, of course, up to the Tornado of Torment. But overall, we are good to start. Little LA has been named. The policies have been introduced, which is just tax raises for everybody. So let's let it rip. Did I forget anything? Please. Power? Water? Think we're okay? No, we're super not okay. One second. Okay, fix things. It's fine. Letting it rip. Okay, there we go. Little LA has been formed. Little suburbs popping up all around here, surrounded by highways. Look at this poor person. Just highways everywhere around their house. It's beautiful. And how are the people liking it? Ah, yes. Dead people everywhere. Trash piling up, even though there's like, what, four landfills? Okay, dude. Power plants not functioning. Did the crime rate go down with the harsher prison sentences, by the way? No, it didn't. It went up. You'd love to see it. But while I was watching this grow, there is one thing I want to change. That's the name. Little LA? I don't think so. I like Little LA. It just sounds better. But aside from that, I think we're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye.